everybody, it's Hannah guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this very cute, um, like, sort of my version of ombre zebra nails. Um, I watched a video of this girl, I cannot remember her username, but if I remember I will put it in the link down below to show you guys her original, um, video that I watched. Um, but she did kind of a bright summery color but I'm gonna do Eastery color because it's really close to Easter so I'm gonna be using um, sinful colors and all that those Eastery colors um, from the Sugar Rush collection but it my version of ombre I could never get the sponge to work so I came up with my own of just doing three stripes on my nails um, and not painting like the white and then having to do the sponge so let's get this cute design started um, I really like this design I did her um, I really can't remember her name. I did do colors. I did do her three colors that she had in her original video. Um, and I really love those. Um, and if I have this, if I still have the picture, I will put that in the video. Um, at the very end. Along with all the supplies I used and pictures of my nails, of course. Duh. Um, but I really liked her nails because she had long, pretty healthy nails. And I've got short nails. So, let's get this design started, like I said. Start off by... Applying a base coat to protect your natural nails um, from any, like, staining that might happen from the polish. Um, so, yeah. I am just, I am just using a base coat. It's actually a nail hardener, but it's also a base coat. I use it as a base coat, and it works just fine. Um, so it's sinful colors. I'm going to be trying to use all sinful colors today. I really... Love sinful colors, and I think I have like almost every polish they have. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I do have probably a lot of a lot more than I should, though. Anyways, um, anyways, I really love nail designs, especially when they're easy like this one is. So I've applied my base coat, and I'm just going to let allow that. Time to dry. I'm pretty sure that my base coat has dried. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got three colors. Um, I have a purple from the sin, Sinful Colors, I think Sugar Rest Collection. It's called Sweet Tooth. I've got yellow from Sinful Colors, and it's called Unicorn. And I've got the blue from Sinful Colors called Sugar Rush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the yellow on the, in the middle just to kind of, it's, it's, not really an ombre if you do that, but it's just, I find it easier to do and it's a lot prettier to me. So, um, just start off by applying a very thin coat of purple on the very bottom of your nail. And it doesn't have to be even or any of that. You can, what I would recommend is applying a white coat under it, um, just to make the colors bright, bright more. And it really is kind of ombre if you do it that way, but you know what? Who gives a whoop? Um, so I'm actually going to do that. I'll meet you right back here once I get my white coat painted. Hey and guys. To dry. Oh, okay guys. So I have made up my mind and applied a white base coat to my nails and have allowed that time to dry. That is very important to allow yourself some time to dry your little piglets. That's what I like to call my nails, little piglets. Um, anyways, let's get this design finally started. Start off by, on the bottom of your nail, just applying a layer of purple. Of purple. Love that. And just cleaning it up if I can grab my stick and not fling it everywhere. And it doesn't have to be, like, a perfect line because you're going to cover it up by the next color. Um, so just like that, you want to just do that and then just do on the top of that one, or right above that one, do yellow. I was so happy that I was scrolling through YouTube and I found that video because I love it. Um, anyways, um... 
I I love zebras. I'm obsessed with zebras. Not well, not really. I'm obsessed with nail polish, but zebras are my second obsession. Shh, don't tell anybody. Now, I have applied. This kind of looks like an Easter egg. I love these sinful colors colors that I got. I was so happy when I went into Walgreens and I found them. Um, I got like 20 polishes in like a week because I went to the sinful colors um, at Walgreens. They had a deal. If you had a Walgreens card and the coupon, you got um, one nail polish for 99 cents. They're originally one ninety nine. So um, I finished that and I'm just going to do that to the rest of my nails and let them dry. Let the little piglets dry. Okay, guys. Oh, my legs hurt. Um. So I finished my cute little little Easter egg looking stripes. Um, this is my version of ombre. You guys can, of course, do any version. Um, but I like this way because I can't figure out how to do the other ombre. So I like doing this design. Anyways, um. It, this is a really good design if you have short nails, be, uh, like me. Um, like, this one is the shortest one I have. I'm trying, trying, trying to grow them out. Um, but, this is a really good design for short nails because it's easy. And it's not tons of designs, but it looks like it took you forever just because of the ombre. So, you're about 50% done. Next, if I can open it. Um, we're going to do our stripes. You need a black striper. And just take your striper and one way line. Just like that. Then above that line. Just like that. Above that line. Just like that. Um, and just continue to do that until you get to the top of your nail. Okay, so, that is the ombre nail design. I'm going to do that to the rest of my little piggies, and I'll meet you right, right back here. Okay, guys, so, I finished my final product, and I'm in love with this product. Um, the final product, of course. And I will post pictures, because this camera view is really bad. Um, so, it's kind of at a bad angle and everything. So, um, that one got smudged. Dang it! Anyways, I will post pictures below for you guys. Um, and, sorry, I'm fixing my nail. Um, anyways, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And also, um, comment below what what you guys would like me to do next time in my next video tutorial. I will be doing them every week for you guys. Um... And maybe even twice a week. You never know. It's going to be a surprise. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, I'm on Instagram. Um, so please don't forget to go on my Instagram. Go on. Um, I will be posting down below in the link what my Instagram name is and everything else. Actually, I might just even write it on a piece of paper. Um, but thank you guys once again. Um, and don't forget to comment. Okay. Bye. Have a nice day. Okay, guys. Sorry. Um, these are my, you, um, Instagram accounts. Um, my personal is at Washington underscore girl. And my nail account is lefty underscore nails. So, don't forget to check those out. And I also forgot to mention with your nails, um, don't forget to apply a top coat. Um, so I've already done that. I did that, but I forgot to mention it. So. Thank you guys again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.